Hi, so I'm Rejoice. I'm an SEO account manager for SEO Sherpa and welcome to this edition of Whiteboard Friday. So I will be talking to you about how to um, map your keywords to your user intent and the buyer's journey. So showing you a good framework to use when you're building out your strategy, doing your keyword research and sort of want to give um, that extra added value to your clients so they fully understand um, the whole point of keyword research. So I'll be taking you through the diagram so we understand that we have the buyer's journey which is the journey the buyers takes from all the from the start to the end in terms of how they can sort of build um, and create and solve their problems so if we start with awareness we all understand that awareness is you know when your buyer identifies that they have a problem so they become aware that they have a problem and they need to find a solution so within awareness Essentially, any content you make or any keyword research you are doing, you want to find the type of keywords that would help your users or my users might search for them to either explain or be informed about something. So what kind of keywords can we sort of look into? So there are something called keyword modifiers. Now we all know keywords can be short tail, it can be long tail, um, but the modifiers are sort of what helps us figure out the intent of a keyword or the purpose. So within awareness, the modifiers that we can have are what, how, where, and who. So these can be modifiers to let us know that the buyer is within the awareness stage because that's the type of keywords that they're using but furthermore the intent behind it will be informational because we all know informational keywords are utilized when users sort of want to be informed about something again going back to the purpose of awareness so that's informational based keywords. Now, we don't necessarily always talk about the goal. Of course, we definitely know that um, awareness brings about um, explaining, brings about the informational intent behind it. But if you want to talk about the goals in which the user wants, it's we can classify it as no and no simple. So no just means your users are trying to know an information. No simple would be those queries that they want the answers quickly. So, you know, what is Beyonce's age? That would be a no simple query because Google will just bring up her actual age without the user having to go into any website to look at that. So that is awareness. So it's pretty, pretty simple, pretty basic, very easy to understand. But when our buyer moves across to consideration, now consideration is why they're in this stage is because they know their, they know their problem. So they have a better understanding of what the problem could be, but they're just trying to find the best solution for it. So that's why it's called consideration. They're considering their options. Um, and again, in this stage, you will still need to explain to them what the options are. And sometimes you might have to demonstrate because this is where your users are going to look for options. So here we can, you know, maybe see content such as explainer videos or comparison guides um, as such. So the keyword modifiers that you tend to find are the best foundation for um, dry skin or a review about Canon cameras versus this or a review about iPhone versus iPad all of those things and you might start to see affordable so now they know that what the problem are they might be looking for the best affordable option so they might do a cost comparison so these are the kind of modifiers that you can see and look up and know that okay these are what we need to serve to our um, to our users user intent we come down to it being commercial because they might be looking to investigate further into products and services. That is why they sort of try to consider that options. So it would be a commercial. So what's the goal? The goal can be they want to be led to the right sites. So a goal of sites just means that they are looking for that particular site that will help them, um, I guess, decide help them move across to the decision stage but the whole point of this is you want to kind of create the kind of contents that are sort of making sure that you're targeting that user intent that query that they're looking for so our buyer they have the options they you know they're looking at it and they've, they've picked the one best solution so of course the next stage is going to be the decision stage so in the decision stage they want to again just find you know the best price i know what i know what provider i want i know the you know where i need to sort of go to to get this one solution so again you're still going to explain you're still going to demonstrate but 
how can you demonstrate within the decision stage? That's easy, FAQs. So we have FAQ pages answering key questions. So they land on your site. They know I want you to be that service provider for my problem. So I need FAQs. I need maybe case studies for me to read about other people's things. I need reviews. I want to review products. I actually want to see you know, people, um, what people's experiences are. So that, for that keyword modifiers, don't be surprised when you start to see deals. When people know the products they want to find, they want discount codes. I do it all the time when I'm sure I, I know I want to shop in like ASOS. So I want to find an ASOS discount code. That's I've already made my decision. So you might see test, you might see if you're a service-based um, client, book now. So you want they want to book a particular service with this particular um, site. And that intent will be transactional because they're looking to either make a purchase, sign up, book a service or buy or download something. So they're already at the stage where that's your final decision. I've picked you. So there will be a transactional intent. And then we call this in terms of goal wise called do. So they're ready to take an action. And across all of these stages, you can absolutely put, put different call to actions. So awareness, you can do, if it's a blog for awareness, read more, discover more, those are call to actions. Consideration, it will be, um, you know, still explore more because you have that explainer guide. And here it could be sign up, buy now. All of those things are call to actions that you can attribute across different stages. So when you're creating your strategy, um, this is a very clear way to sort of tell your clients or explain to managers how you've kind of gone about to map out all these keywords, put them into the right categories and explain it. And I think that way you start to track and understand consumer behavior better because you now know the purpose why your consumer um, are utilizing certain keywords and where they exactly are within the buyer's journey. Even if you had to take a wild guess, categorizing it this way just provides a lot more clarity for you. So that is essentially how you map your keywords to the buyer's journey and then back to the um, user intent. So I hope this helps, gives you a better idea of how to sort of do it and how to play about it and build you know, your Excel sheets and build your strategy to kind of help you. So thank you and hope to see you soon again on another Whiteboard Friday.